Hi guys, welcome back to another Eagle Moss product review. Today we're not looking at a model though. Today we're going to look at something different. Somebody had tweeted me on uh, Twitter, obviously, asking if they if I thought these books were any good. The Designing Starship series. This is volume one. I do a volume two as well and a few other of the Eagle Moss books. I'm a huge book aficionado. I love books. I love the smell of books. I even have a video on my channel talking about I have an addiction. I have an addiction to buying books. I love books. I just love coffee table books. I love all kinds of books. Uh, so what we're going to do is look at this book and uh, show you guys what's involved in this. Uh, so you guys, if you're on the fence about buying it, you can uh, make up your mind and decide to either get it or not. I personally think they're fantastic. I am going to split it up into separate videos um, because otherwise it would just be too long. Uh, but this one will be looking at volume one of Designing Starships. So. There you got the cover, and on the back it says, uh, Designing Starship Value 1, Ben Robinson and Marcus Riley. This is the story of how some of the most talented designers in Hollywood created Star Trek starships from the first sketches to the finished models that appeared on screen. This book, which covers the genesis of more than 30 ships, including all seven Enterprises, is packed with original concept art showing fascinating directions that were explored and abandoned and revealing the thinking behind the finished designs. Uh, so there you have it, guys. That's the description on the back. The back is just a pretty simple looking back, uh, but a great book nonetheless. I am a huge fan, as I said, of books. So I really enjoy these. I do think they're worth the money personally, uh, but you're here to make up your own mind uh, and I'm here to help you with that. We're gonna look through it, um, not in any kind of great detail, but enough to show you kind of what's inside here. Um, essentially, it's just a lot of the behind the scenes designing sections from the actual uh, Eagle Moss magazine. So uh, let's take a look at this and see, see what we got. All right, guys, for the purposes of this review, I'm going to take the cover off the, or the, the dust jacket off the book. Uh, so there you have it, uh, Starship, uh, Designing Starships Volume 1. Very classy looking book when you take the uh, dust cover off. So, so, that, so here's just the dust cover. A little description in there on Ben Robinson and Marcus Riley, uh, but that's basically it for that. But, uh, Let's get looking at stuff here. So there we have it. So the table of contents, obviously going through the Enterprise, um, redesigning the Enterprise for about Planet of the Titans, redesigning the original Enterprise, NCC 1701 refit, things like that. Acknowledgements, thanking all the designers, of course, um, Andrew Probert, Richard Taylor, uh, Rick Sternbach, John Eves, Alex Shager, Doug Drexler, Bill George, Niall Rodas, Greg Jean. I'm not going to get into all of them, but they're all here. Uh, even some people that have been on our channel and are good friends of our channel, like Rob Bonchun, Adam Mo Mojo uh, Lebowitz. Uh, so, great to see them in here. Um, first off, of course, we got Designing the Enterprise. This is the TOS Enterprise by Matt Jeffries. Some Matt Jeffries design sketches there. Um, same here. Different hangar bays. Uh, the Daedalus, or what design it became, the Daedalus class. Um, early actual Constitution class plans. Then here's uh, redesigning it for Planet of the Titans, which is going to be the new um, Phase 2 or the, the movie. Um, and this is very similar to the design we see for Discovery. So, again, this is designed by Ralph McQuarrie, um, who's, of course, famous for Star Wars. So it's got a very almost Star Destroyer-like vibe to it. Um, probably the best way to say that. Not everybody is a fan, which is fine. Here's the asteroid um, artwork he's done, which they used in the original promo for it at San Diego Comic-Con for Discovery and uh, where we saw the NX-01, not the NX-01L, sorry, the uh, Discovery Alpha version that, that we call it. So then redesigning the original Enterprise uh, into the uh, Phase 2 version here. 
showing all the design sketches from Jeffries. And then updating it yet again to the refit style that we see in the movies. And this was done by Richard Taylor and Andrew Probert. Um, uh, Andrew Probert did some finishing touches on it. Richard Tyler did the primary design. So a lot of the design sketches here. Um, different uh, illustrations. Designing the Enterprise D. This is all Andrew Probert. Um, showing the different the iterations of the nacelles getting longer or shorter, different separation sequences that were initially planned, the Enterprise C. This is Rick's version of course, so designing Rick's version of the Enterprise C, which is different from uh, Andrew Probert's version, which is the original, the Probert class I guess as it's called. Here we got the Enterprise B, this was the Excelsior jet but uh, fixed up by John Eaves. Like I said, I'm not going to go into too much detail with all this. I just kind of want to show you the layout of the book and so what you guys would be in store for should you decide to buy it. Um, again, this is Designing Starships Volume 1. Here we got more Enterprise E stuff. The NX-01 by Doug Drexler. Johnny's early concept for that, which a lot of these design elements have actually been incorporated into the Discovery Enterprise. These, This page is awesome. This is the early versions by Doug, even a ring ship version um, of the original of the NX-01. Um, <clears throat> all the great details and stuff that went into the uh, NX-01, as Doug said, it's one of the most thought out designs or fleshed out designs in Trek history just because it was such a small ship and on screen so much. Uh, that such a lot of thought was put into it. So, and we got designing the Galileo shuttlecraft. We got the original um, Matt Jeffries design there, which they couldn't build because it was too too many complex curves and stuff. So AMT put in the model or put in the money to create this one. Um, if they got exclusive rights to the model kit, I believe is how the story goes. So that's how the Galileo we all know and love came about. Here it shows the hangar bay, um, just with the different sizes. So there's actually a lot of fantastic details in here. Uh, here we're talking about designing shuttles for next generation, the Sphinx Work B, the speedboat shuttles, and just uh, different TNG shuttle designs here. Um, the USS Reliant, the original version of it that had two torpedo pods and the engines up top. But it was eventually switched out of the engines lower just to give it a different look than the Enterprise. The Excelsior. A couple different versions of what could have been the Excelsior. Um, Designing the Stargazer. This was done by Andrew Probert and Rick Sternbach. Um, and the model, of course, is famously seen in Picard's Ready Room. Which is that one there. The Akira class, designed by, designed by Greg Jean. Again, lots of great concept sketches from beginning to final assembly. The USS Centaur. The ECS Fortunate, Earth Cargo Ship Fortunate from Enterprise. Um, designing the Botany Bay. Redesigning the board fleet for the uh, first uh, contact movie. Different concepts were thought of for that. Again, it goes into such great detail and there's such great artwork and concept sketches in these books that if you're a fan of Starships and Starship design and just all these talented artists like Doug Drexler who did these, um, you know, Rick Sternbach, John Eaves, you name them. Um, they've been on Trek Yards and uh, we love them all. They're, they're good friends of ours. So it is cool seeing all these, these uh, sketches and things. And to hear the inside stories of how the designs came about 
and what everything is on these ships. Uh, it is a good idea to check out the Trek Yards episodes. Shameless self-promotion, guys. Um, but uh, the Bajoran Solar Sailor is here. Very interesting, intricate design. The Dauntless, which I can't stand this design personally. Samuel really likes it, but I'm not a fan. Uh, the Kremen, the Krenum Weapon, the Time Ship. Very elegant design, that one. The Romulan Drone from Enterprise. This is like the, I call it the flea ship because it looks like a giant flea. Um, species 8472 bio ships. Uh, Malon export vessels. Rojan warships, Tholian starship, uh, both from TOS and Enterprise by the looks of it here. Uh, this is also the original Tholian ship and it was remade into the Aurora for another episode of TOS. See there, they're just putting the cells on it. The Nausicaan fighter, which is a cool ship design, designing the Surat class. Again, more Doug Drexler ring ideas with like the cell configurations. Uh, it's great talking to him about this. We actually have an episode specifically on this um, vessel. So, worth checking out. Uh, the Dakir. And it's different configurations that it could have been. And that's it for this book here. Um, but there you have it, guys. Designing Starships. Volume 1. Like I said, we will look at Volume 2 uh, in a future video, as well as some of the other books as well. But it's essentially just what's advertised on the cover, I guess, is the uh, the fact that it's a... It's basically the same design element pages that are in the standard Eagle Moss book, uh, just brought to one volume. Uh, so it's actually a great resource for that kind of thing uh, and uh, a great addition to any book library and any fan of starships in general. So there you have it, guys. I'm going to move this over here. So guys, click the link down in the description below to pick up your book or books. They got quite a few. And there's some great ones to add to your collection. Uh, if you're a Star Trek fan or just a Starship fan, this is a great book for you. So I would suggest checking it out. Hopefully this helps some of you make up your minds or make a decision about buying this book. Um, if you have any questions, put them in the comments below. I'll try to address them. But I really appreciate you guys watching, as always. Uh, don't forget, if you buy this book or any of the other Eagle Moss stuff, um, some of it's exempt, but we do have a discount code. Just type in Trek Yards upon checkout, and you'll be able to save yourself some money um, in, with your purchase. So that's very helpful. And uh, until next time, guys, please like the video, subscribe to the channels, and don't forget to check out other videos by us as well. Lots of cool stuff all the time, and uh, we look forward to seeing you again very soon. So until next time, guys, I'm Captain Foley. Live long and prosper.